Hello there folks, welcome back to the Chaps Guide. My name is Ash and I am your host on this journey through men's style self-development and personal grooming. Now as you know, I've been going on a bit of a, a gallop through some of my fragrance collection, which I've been sharing with you guys to give you an idea or maybe an insight into some fragrances which may be beneficial for you. These are not overly long, they're short, sharp and abruptly to the point. And today's fragrance that I'm talking about is Voyage by Nautica. Now it has been universally sort of lauded by many fragrance aficionados for a long time now because it's really affordable and it's also quite a very widely appealing fragrance. And I would go along with that. I mean, this is my first bottle of it. I haven't used a great deal of it. I've probably only owned it for about a month uh, because when the summer started this year, and as you can see, it's a lovely summer day here, I was looking for more summery fragrances, which I could wear on warmer days. I tend to prefer darker, denser fragrances. So I thought I'd try some of these much more lighter, summer oriented fragrances. Now, Voyage has been around since 2006 and it's been a long time favorite of many, many people. And let's put a little bit on. I did use it earlier today as well. Light, fresh, a little bit crispy, a little bit fruity. Slight hint of maybe cucumber in there as well, I would say. Uh, but it's an interesting fragrance. And uh, I think, right, I've, I've actually grown rather to like it. When I first put it on, I wasn't sure. After a little while of living with it, it's definitely grown on me. And I think it's a really good companion for the warmer summer months. If you want a clean and crispy fragrance, I think it's identified uh, as being a woody aquatic. So, you know, a little bit of those elements of the sea fragrance about it, saltiness uh, as well. But let me tell you what officially its fragrance accords are. Top note, when you first put it on, as I just did, green leaves and apple. I don't think I agree with that at all. I don't sense any apple. There is an element of sweetness, so I think I get where they're coming from. Green leaves, yeah, it's definitely a greener fragrance in its essence, it's fresh. You definitely get that. In the heart, you get lotus and mimosa. Now, to be honest, I don't think I've encountered those plants in ordinary life, so I wouldn't be able to tell you what they smell like. I'm not fancy like that. What I can tell you is there's a slight florality to it, but not a great deal. And in the base, we've got musk, cedar, oak moss, and amber. A little bit more masculinity. But it, to me, there's a little bit of sweetness, maybe even a touch vanilla-y, to be honest. Um, so, when would we wear this? For me, out and out summer fragrance. I mean, this is something I'm gonna be wearing between sort of May and September, only it is light, it is very fresh. It's not a great performer, a little bit of a spoiler, I'll tell you that up front, but you know, that's what we look for really in the summer months, isn't it? Uh, age range, very, very open, I would say with this, 25 and over, right up to the end of your life, because this type of fragrance, sort of a, uh, an aquatic-y, woody fragrance, it's not, you know, it, it's something which is universally appealing. People like to frelk, smell clean, fresh. Who doesn't? So how does it a, a, a sort of appeal to any certain age? Um, age, as I talked about age, let's have a look, time of day. Is it a daytime fragrance or a night fragrance? Totally a daytime fragrance. Um, you know, if you went to a, maybe a, a gathering of people on a summer evening, perhaps it might underperform because it's not super powerful. It's not something which is pushing out up the noses of people around you. It's quite light. It's quite close to the body. Um, it's something which is, I would say, is worn more for the wearer than those around them. As you might say, any fragrances, but certainly you're not emanating a strong odor with this. It's very close to you. Uh, projection, quite modest, I would say. I would say a low to mid level of projection. This is not, as I say, emanating from you. Um, is it something you could wear as an occasion fragrance? For me, it isn't, to be honest, even if it's a summer occasion. So shall we imagine that uh, Alexander de Croo, who is the Prime Minister of Belgium, has dropped you a telegram and said, look, you know, I'm in town, fancy catching up for a drink. And you say, yeah, okay, Alex, but you wanna make sure that you're smelling your best. Probably not a situation for Nautica Voyage. It just doesn't have the punch 
a little bit too modest for that. So longevity doesn't perform very well on the skin, I'm afraid. Very short periods of time. I mean, it, it becomes a skin scent, but it's not a big performer. Sorry to say, it doesn't last a long time, doesn't push out very well. But that said, it's pleasant for you because you know, you're near to it. Third party comments. For the first time in a long time, I've got a mixed bag here. I like it. My mother likes it. My son, who's into his fragrances, didn't like it. All right, he tried it on, rubbed him up the wrong way. He said he didn't like the sort of cucumbery smell. For me, it rather is something I like. So, and usually, I think it's got a mass appeal, but on the three people I've tried it on, one of them didn't like it. Read into that whatever you will. The bottle, kind of elegant really, nothing special. The, um, the juice inside is light blue in colour. Nautica, how could it be anything else with a name like that? And you will notice that the cap is shaped in the way of one of those bollards that you see alongside the harbour that boats tie up to. There's probably a nautical name for it which escapes me right now. But at least it's themed. There's a little bit of imagination going on here. And I give them credit for that in a world where all bottles look exactly the same. Cost price, I paid £25 for this 100 milliliter bottle of Eau de Toilette from Amazon. So it is not expensive. And it's something, you know, you can really chug through in the summer months, cover yourself in it twice a day. It's gonna do the job, it's not gonna break the bank. Good advantage for it there. So what would I say? Conclusion, a simple, refreshing fragrance that's quite weak in nature, can be a little divisive on people who wear it. However, for me, clean, crispy, sort of aquatic-y fragrance is where it's at, and that's where I wanna be in the warmer summer months. And at the price point, worth a punt, isn't it? You know, because even if you don't like it, give it, to some, give it to a friend as a gift, they're gonna love you forever. So there we go, hope you enjoyed the video. Thumbs up, click subscribe, drop me an email, drop me a question in the comments, buy me a coffee, become a patron, get the extra videos I make each week for those. I'll see you again, smelling good as ever, very soon.